This video needs no introduction, but simple narration with credible information. Hi guys, my name is Ribbon, and you are welcome to Boxing Block Center. Looking at the title of this video, I guess you're already thinking, what is this guy about to say? What does it mean by that? What does it mean by uh, a Pagerian? Never heard of that before. <laughs> Let me first of all laugh in Japanese before I proceed. You know, um, people, I've been getting lots of, a lot of messages from different people all over the world, Nigerians or, or worldwide. Uh, some people are kind of curious why all of a sudden I like the Until Water, I tend to support the Until Water because they've known me. In as a guy that actually don't like the until water and all those stuff that always criticize a guy, always just as a guy and all those stuff. I understand, I understand, calm down, I understand. But uh, the simple thing is that, listen, everybody that follow this channel, that subscribe to the channel, you know what you get in this channel. I am a Pagerian. I'm not your average Nigerian. Because I don't think like an average Nigerian. I am a Pagerian. That's a word I just made up, meaning a, pat a patriotic Nigerian. So, Deontay Wilder has been stubborn, for sure. He's talked to Smack in the past about Joshua and other stuff, for sure. But my own thinking and my own imagination is far bigger than some of our Nigerian brothers thinking and imagination because they only think within within their cycles, you know what I mean, within their cycle. So it's like, oh people these people are around me, oh now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm risen with the reason. But I think globally. I don't think like that. Deontay Wilder back in two thousand and seventeen declared himself a Nigerian. You know, he, he that was the first time he mentioned it. You know, at that time he was still a champion, and I, you know, saw that, and I was a little bit skeptical about it. I've always liked Deontay Water. I started following this guy right from two thousand and thirteen. You know what I mean? That was when I knew about him. You know, prior to that. I only know the guy, like, I only saw the guy at the Olympics once, but I never really, like, invested or my time or my time in it because I just as it was another regular dude. The first time I saw the two water, I was like, oh, what, what came to my mind? It's a basketball player, look like a basketball player and other stuff. Up to the point where the two water started uh, talking smack about Anthony Joshua, started acting in a certain way. Him and Joshua used to be very, used to be friends. Like they used to follow each other on Instagram. If you know this, they don't hate each other. But because of the because of the circumstance, you know, uh, and of course, you know where John Tewada got beheaded uh, by his fans, things turned around. Why do I support John Tewada? Because he has not only as he expressed his love for the continent of Africa, he has also expressed his love many times about Nigeria as a country and as a nation. And he's also proud of where he's from. He said he's a proud Ninja boy. Some people took it very personal. To the point where you know all these messages I'm getting nowadays and say, oh, what well, BBC? Why do you? Why do you all of a sudden like John Water? John Water has declared, and if you know what BBC stands for, you understand that I made this channel. I created this channel on the basis of trying to promote our people, and John Water is our people. That's just a fact. Because before I came into the scene, okay. African fathers, Nigerian fathers, and the grandfathers were not given the proper recognition. In fact, if you look at how I single handedly, you know, promoted Afia Jagba on this platform, you understand what I mean. 
I've also promoted some other, you know, fathers as well. You know, there are also some who are coming out right now, which I'm going to talk about more. You know, bec- why do I do this? Because these guys don't even get any recognition until they get to the point. Even if they get to, the, to that point, they hardly get it. They hardly, they hardly, you know, they hardly even get the respect that they deserve. Anthony Joshua, of course, is our son. I'm not claiming Anthony Joshua because oh, he's from Nigeria. Joshua is our son. That's for sure. There, nothing can change that. But let's not forget that Joshua. It took Joshua 17 years to go back to Nigeria. Before Joshua went back to Nigeria, it took him 17 years. Why 17 years? Ask yourself that. But Joshua's law for Nigeria has never been a doubt because he's always expressed his, his, his love for the country, his love for Africa as a continent, his love for people worldwide. Anthony Joshua and Deontay Water are very two different people. Why are they two different people? Because both grew up in a different environment. Joshua, of course, has the culture of Nigeria and England embedded in him. Deontay Water wholly knows one culture, the American culture. And what about the American culture? You have the black American culture, you have the American culture. The black American culture is very, very different. I'm not talking about the whole one because right the whole one is like was a very classic culture. Nowadays is a different culture in America within the black community. You know, you only see few black responsible uh uh individuals in America right now, you know. And the responsible ones are not respected. They are looked at as oh, wanna be white guys. So do you know what I grew up in a culture where you know Things are different. Identity is lost. So he had to look deep within him to find out where he's from. And of course, he found out he's from Nigeria. I support Deontay Water. I will. I'll, I've always supported Deontay Water. I will continue to support Deontay Water. I know some of you guys don't like it, but I'm just training right now because he's our brother. He's declared as Nigerian. I cannot turn my back on any Nigerian. If your Jagba got of sticks from this channel, everybody knows that. I just have your Jagba Apochi on team. Me Apochi made up. We are put me Apochi. We are cool now. You know, no more beef. But at the end of the day, these are still my brothers. Like I said before, in my language, in Edo language, there's a parable that states, "Obo nayak boyoma ayasi I will translate in pidgin English. I don't want to touch that one for English. If it means say the hand where you take beat your Peking, the same hand that you want to draw on your body. You understand what I mean? So for those of you guys who speak pidgin, translate it in English for for, the, for our brothers, <clears throat> our foreign listeners. Uh, Deontay Water, you know, of course, heading to Africa this month. I'm gonna be talking about it, and I've heard some, I've I've heard some rumors, and of course the some some stuff I want to talk about, but not on this, you know, this particular topic. The reason why I named this 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 title, I'm not an average Nigerian. I am a Nigerian because everything Nigerian revolves around me. Nigeria as a country is a great country. Nigeria as people, we are great people. Yes, there are tribalistic minded people and I see them all over this channel. What I do, I I look at them and I delete them, I block them. I don't need any goddamn tribalistic person here. And Nigeria is not only made up of Igbo, Yoruba, Aosa, they are made up of other tribes as well. So you guys will understand that. Nigeria might not be the identity that we were proud to the colonization because we already know where I'm from, Benin Kingdom. We had an empire that lasted for more than 3,000 years and we still have the kingdom to today. So we are holding than Nigeria. We are actually the oldest in Nigeria right now. We're talking about Nigeria, the oldest kingdom in Nigeria. But that doesn't count anymore because 
we all came together. Yes, we didn't came. We didn't come together in agreement to say, okay, now let's become Nigeria. We were we 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 were amalgamated, you know, by the British, you know, colonizers. But at the end of the day, we formed a great nation. Yes, this nation currently has a lot of great people in it, but yet we, as the you, as the people, we as the people, we have created an identity that that has made us unique. If you see an African, uh, uh, an African and a Nigerian like that, you see if there are five Africans standing right now, you will know exactly who's a Nigerian among them because our attitude is different. That has been embedded in us. That has made us unique because we created something unique. I was at the embassy, you know, last week. The man was damned in Berlin. The man was tribalistic. I think he's a Yoruba guy. He was tribalistic. I saw how he acted when I asked, you know, to go in, uh, when the other person has to go in. You know, I saw everything that I saw there. And I kind of checked my head. But am I now saying, oh, I'm no longer Nigerian? This, this. No, no, no. I'm not saying that because I know we... The young, the younger generation, we are definitely more, more intelligent for sure, more diplomatic, regardless of tribe. We are more unique than this big hooded, big hood headed vagabonds who have made a country nothing but a mess in a particular in the political landscape. That's why I always say we need people like Joshua. I don't say when I say need people like Joshua, I'm not talking about Joshua himself changing the nation. No, Joshua cannot do it. We Nigerians have to think in a global standpoint because we are great people. And I understand that some of you guys are angry that I am not supporting Deontay Water. Listen, if Deontay Water continue to talk smack about Joshua, I would definitely go out on him. I would chastise him for sure. But just just the same way I chastise Efia Jagba. But yet, I can never deny the guy. People are saying, well, how can he be from Nigeria when he doesn't know exactly where it's from, what village is it from, what city is from? That doesn't really matter. Does it matter? Have you heard of something called the DNA test? Have you guys? I think you guys have heard it. The guy went to do went to do his DNA test, and it was revealed that he's thirty-two to forty percent Nigerian. That is a high percentage. And of course, you look at his power, you will definitely see this guy is a Nigerian, and also he is the recognition of Asuro, a warrior from the Great Benin Kingdom, but. I'm not saying John Tewada is from Benin Kingdom because, you know, we, the Edo people uh, from Great Benin Kingdom, only few of us were taken as slaves. Only our warriors, some of our warriors were taken as slaves, you know. Um, we we managed to fight off, you know, uh, slavery. You know, only few of our warriors were taken. So if anyone trace, traces his, uh, his, his lineage to Benin Kingdom, you know that person father or great 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 father ancestors who were warriors who were taken as captives you know what i mean that's how it is because those warriors fought for the land and fought with your with blood sweat with honor to make sure they secure the land to make sure the people weren't you know uh capped cap, you know when uh 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 uh, uh, uh used as a toilet paper so, I am a Pagerian. I am a Pagerian. I'm not an average Nigerian guy. An average Nigerian guy will support uh, some Nigerians and leave the order due to the class. I'm not like that. I support every Nigerian, regardless whether you have 2% blood in you, I will support you. That is what we need. We need a mindset of supporting our own people and we need that kind of mindset to make sure our people excel in every field they're in 
I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm just a regular guy. Everybody that know me know me that listen. Everybody that knows me, they know Raymond, I keep things real, you know, I'm just a natural I'm just an average guy. But an average guy with a mind of a revolutionary. You know, and I just want you all to understand this. Support the until water. Forget about what is done. Please, I'm just saying, I beg. I beg at the beg Forget about all the things he said. Support the until water. But if he talks back about Joshua and all those stuff, we, we go hard on name as well. But let's not forget that we have Israel this year. Israel this year is like the until water, right? Am I lying? Israel this talk smack, a lot of smack. A lot of smack. <laughs> you know, that's you know that already. He's arrogant, just like Deontay Water. But yet he still get a lot of love from from Nigerian fans. Why? Why is it like that? I thought we don't we, we Nigerians we don't like Raga people, B. You see what I'm saying? But he gets a lot of love from Nigeria. So also show love to Deontay Water. Forget the fact that Israel this year can trace is is a direct descendant of is it is a direct descendant of the Yoruba tribe and he's a Nigerian for sure. I understand that. Tiantawala is not. But at the same time, his DNA says he has thirty something to forty percent Nigerian name. So I understand you guys are surprised that ah, well, BBC is upon the water now. BBC BBC what you do not give yourself. I don't get shishi from any goddamn person. Shishi from any goddamn person. Even for not to support Sefi they had. I say I'm gonna go fund me, make I make I try to bring boss in Nigeria. Not not to wanna do. So I'm using my own goddamn money to do all these things I'm doing. I the enter Nigeria soon. Like my money I want to do everything to do everything. I want to go meet some some people from people from streets, try to help them out. Now my money I want to do everything. So the thing the the difference between me uh, between me and other people is that listen especially some nigerians the, the big difference is that if i see a nigerian doing well i always make sure i support that person i am many of you don't share my video to our Nigerian brothers or home and abroad say okay now i'm gonna go support this guy i'm gonna go like i'm gonna go to watch the video I'm gonna go, nah, nah, nah. now only me want to do one But at the end of the day, I also am very grateful for all of you guys, to all of you guys who are very supportive of this channel. And I see all of you now. All of you now, when they write, when they, when they write me, I appreciate all of you all. Both the one where they dislike the video, both the one where they like the video, both the one that, you know, hate me, or both the one that like me. Or, I appreciate all of you guys because... I know one per I know some people right now. I I know some people, you know, who I've talked to in the past, you know, they don't like me, you know. Because they say this guy they fumble or this guy they form or this guy they do this uh, do that. Guy. Now my mouth I get. You get the same mouth like me. Use them. If you also use the same mouth with me I get with, with me I get, they do this kind of where they do so. I go support you because there's nothing for me to egg there, brother. So, like I said before, I am a Pagerian. I'm not an average Nigerian. So, guys, thanks for listening. Like the video, share, subscribe. And if you like what you just heard, you know what you have to do. Stay blessed, guys. Cheers.